Eleanor Chapman says her daughter Chelsea has had a long history of mental illness, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and psychotic behavior. And if she had gotten the help she needed years ago, her grandchildren would still be alive. The neglect is the reason why she's there and my grandchildren gone. Chelsea's currently at a mental health facility in East Feliciana Parish. She was found not guilty by reason of insanity for the 2012 deaths of her two children. Her son was shot. Her daughter intentionally drowned in a bathtub. A forensic expert says Thornton has shown progress and recommends she be moved to a group home setting in Baton Rouge. But the judge says more information is needed on future treatments before she can be moved. Her attorney respects the decision. The unfortunate thing is that her mother, who suffers from glaucoma, is blind now through one eye. So we would hope that Chelsea will be released and free at some point when her mother can at least lay one eye on her. Eleanor says she talks to her daughter almost every day on the phone. She desperately wants her back home, but Judge Robin Pittman says that'll have to wait. The important thing is that she be compliant on her medication. That is the most important thing, that she stay compliant. Eleanor says both she and Chelsea have suffered enough and they're ready to begin healing as a family. We want everything to be right so that she can, we can start healing and return to some type of normalcy. In addition to the delay that happened today, the facility that they want her move to, the group home in Baton Rouge, is completely full. It'll take another six months to a year before Chelsea can be relocated there. Her next hearing is set for this December. Reporting from Mid-City, Sherman DeSalle, WDSU News.